Hey, how you going? Alison Gingerland here. That'll really be matching this top, won't it? <laughs> well, welcome to or back to my channel. Just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for your love and support of my previous video, the history of the entire world, I guess. Wasn't that mind blowing? <laughs> Incredible history lesson. I managed to like keep up with what he was saying, which was very hard because it was went very quick. <laughs> a lot of history compressed into 20 minutes. Incredible. Oh, I just want to give a comment shout out quickly because someone commented about, you know, the part where it was countries versus countries and stuff. Someone in the comments clarified it for me. So comment shout out to Bajotis. B Jodis. <laughs> I'm so sorry if that's not how you pronounce it. I don't know how else to say that, but Bajotis. I think we know by now that I can't pronounce anything. So Bajotis, I hope, said Sweden did not in fact fight the Iroquois. The ones to the left of the verses is one faction, France and their allies, and the ones to the right, another, Britain and their allies. Sweden as a regional power in Europe fought in Europe. Iroquois as a Native American tribe fought in North America. They never crossed paths in the Seven Years War. So thank you for clarifying. I learned something new. Didn't even know about the Seven Year War. How? I don't know. Thank you, school, for nothing. <laughs> so thank you for clarifying that and hopefully you guys learned something new too. So I feel like that was important to mention. This is me thinking the Iroquois are fighting Sweden. I'm like, in what situation would that occur? And why have I not known about this? What a random... So that makes sense, so thank you. Oh, awesome. Turns out I didn't charge my freaking camera battery, so now I'm gonna be working against the clock. So no more time for rambling. We're gonna jump into today's video. I had so many people commenting wanting me to react to Bill Watts's History of Japan, which I mean, after the first video, I'm happy to do as many of Billy Boy's videos as you guys would want me to do. So let's jump into the history of Japan. I don't really know too much about Japan, so I'm sure I'm gonna be learning a lot in this video. So let's jump straight in. I'm just gonna set myself a timer for the camera so I remember to stop it so that I don't film for too long and lose the file. So if you hear a ding ding in like 10 minutes, that's what that is. Okay, let's get into it. I'm, I hate it when my camera battery is not full. It's terrifying. <laughs> okay, fly her in. And let's get into it. Okay. Oh no. Come on. Here we go. All right. Okay. Whoop. Hey, that worked. Okay. But a bing. But a bill. That just came to me. That works, doesn't it? All right. All right. Let's get into it. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. <laughs> those bits of those make me laugh every single time. Amazing. <laughs> Just had to mention that. I'm gonna be giggling every time he does those little edits. <laughs> the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. Probably In the year not. negative 40,000, it was here, and you could walk to it, and some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees, because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ooh. Ding dong, it's the outside world, and they have technology from the future, like Ooh. really good metal and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. Should I try to pronounce them? <laughs> this is going to be bad. Should, maybe I should. No, you know what? Let's give it a go. Hi, that's an easy one. Probably, if that's not how you say it, all of these are going to be incorrect. Chikush, chikushai? Chikushai. Chikushai? Chikushi? Chikushi? I don't know how else. Azumu? Izomu? Izumu? Azomu? God. Koshi? Kabai? Kibai? Kibi. I'm trying out different pronunciations, hoping that one of them hits right. <laughs> Yamato? <laughs> Probably not set in an Australian accent. Yamato. Yamato? Yamato. So, surely that's right. Can you? Like a menu, but with a K. Can you? Can you? You reckon? Probably wrong, but hey, gave it a red hot go. <laughs> But this one was the most, most important. Ruled by a hidden super person, or emperor for short. Ooh. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince <laughs> wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this. <laughs> from where? I'm sorry, Bill. From, from where? <laughs> knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Biekt? Please try this religion, he said. <laughs> no, said everybody. Try it, he said. <laughs> no, said everybody no. again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Wait, so everyone said no, and it went ahead anyway. <laughs> anyway. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about sunrise land, That's nice. said Japan. 
And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. A rich hipster named Kukai is Buddhism. bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you live outside the palace... <laughs> oh, that ties in with the last one, the history of the entire world. He mentioned about how Japan was so obsessed with art and stuff that they didn't cover the country. I actually had someone in the comments mention that the intermission part in the last video was to tie in with this video because they mentioned Japan and there was intermission. So that makes sense. It's all coming together. Everything's tying in nicely. <laughs> how are you supposed to protect your shit? from criminals. Hire a samurai. Ooh, samurai. Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful. More powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here. They let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news. The Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us or else we might invade you as well. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again, what? and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then really died in a tornado. Tutoi. Then the Emperor- Sorry, Tutoi! <laughs> Mother Nature really didn't want them to invade Japan. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? Just imagine everyone like on their horses trying to fight, just getting like- <laughs> That's bad. Anyway. <laughs> overthrows the shogunate then the shogunate overthrows him back and moves to kyoto and makes a new shogunate and the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants that's fine like painting with less colors collaborative poetry plays monkey fun tea parties gardening architecture flowers it's time for who's going to be the next shogun usually it's the shogun's kid but the shogun doesn't have a kid so he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun he says okay but then the shogun has a kid so now who's it going to be vote now on your phones and everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down the Shogun actually didn't care, he was off somewhere doing poetry. And the oh. whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power, and it's anybody's game. Knock knock, it's Europe. No, they're not here to take over, they just want to sell some shit. Like clocks, and guns, and Jesus. So that's cool, but everyone's still fighting each other for control. Now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to control the capital, which right now is puppets, with no one controlling them. This clan is ready to make a run for it, but first they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Surprise, the smaller clan wins, and the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital, and it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who works for him kills him, and then someone else who works for him kills them, and that guy finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords and made some rules. And now Wait, what were the rules? <laughs> no having a sword or gun, no climbing the social ladder. Pay taxes. I'm sure everyone was so happy when taxes came in, hey? Jesus. Alright, back to it. And now I'm going to invade Korea, and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before oh, okay. he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. Oh. And the five guys said, yeah, right, it's not oh. going to be this kid, it's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A true? lot of people so And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more rich. Oh. Is he on glad shot of Donald Trump? Okay, sorry, I don't know why that got me so good. All right. Rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor, and have very nice things. But don't get confused, this is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict they close the country. No one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch. Wouldn't that be the worst? Wouldn't that be the worst? You can't leave? Oh, what if I want to see the world and travel and experience different cultures? No. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, what's this? The boat's coming in? Hold the phone. No one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit. But they have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased. 30 million- Actually, no. I, I mean, I knew that Japan had a really high population. But, like, the tiny 30 million! Australia! Humongous! We're not even at 30 million yet, and our country is huge. And I still feel like there's too many people everywhere. Imagine Japan. Alright, focus. Back on. Okay, let's go. Schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, pictures, and Dutch studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. Oh, oh, knock, oh knock. shit. Oh, it's the United States. Oh god, this With huge good. boats. With guns. Oh no. Gunboats. Oh no. Open the country. Stop having it be closed, <laughs> said the United States.
there was really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets the United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Set. Hold on. I was like, surely this is gonna go off soon. Did I just pick it up when it went off? Girl, okay. Focus, camera battery low, we're getting into this. Okay, something about Choshu, Choshu, Choshu. No, we're gonna rewind so I can hear him say it correctly. Time they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. <laughs> and with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again oh, and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? That's right, it's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. <laughs> and Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. And Japan says, Can you maybe chill? And Russia says, How about maybe you chill? <laughs> Japan is kind of scared. I just love the way <laughs> I love the way that he explains like conflicts and wars and stuff. <laughs> Can you just chill? Maybe you should chill? <laughs> Russia rushes in. Ah, oh, too good. All right, sorry. Just, okay. I'm very easily entertained, obviously. Okay. Scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, Japan goes to war against Russia. Just for a moment. And then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War One. The world is about to have a war because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. Or actually shot him in the head. And what a fantastic way to explain the conflicts. I just kept, me, I just kept up with that. Thank you, Bill, for simplifying and let's be honest, kind of dumbing down <laughs> the explanation of it. Okay, I can't watch that again because that was such a brilliant way to explain the conflicts. I feel like we could all benefit with a recap on that. Okay. Enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. more. And the next thing on the list is <laughs> this part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which uh -huh. just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass or actually shot him in the head and Britain is currently friends with Japan so you know what that means Duh, Japan should take the islands which they wanted to do anyway so they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know and then they did it and they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff Oh. Now the war is over, <laughs> and congratulations Japan, you technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes, where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations, whose mission oh, statement is to try not to take over the world. <laughs> the Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy really is now bad. crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it invades Manchuria, and the League of Nations is like, No, don't do that, if you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, <laughs> How about I do? Anyway, but Japan invaded more and more and more and more of China oh, yeah. and was planning to invade the entire east. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache uh, and he's trying to cool take over mustache. the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much in common. Is that what happened? Did he send a letter? <gasps> my camera's flashing! Oh no! Oh my god, the camera's flashing red. I've only got like a minute and a half to go, but then also my outro, so I might just pause for a bit. I'm just gonna charge it up. God damn it! So close to the end! Ah! I swear I charged it last time, but anyway. Intermission! And we're back! That was like a second for you, but like an hour and a half for me. But anyway, it's nice to see a full battery on the screen, much less stressful. It's time to finish the last like minute and a half of this video. I can't believe I just had to wait like an hour and a half for not even two minutes. <laughs> And now there's a sun strip here too, which I cannot help. But anyway, back to the video. <laughs> but a bing, but a bill. Ah, oh, I make myself laugh, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, so we're up to World War II, the sequel. World War II is not funny, just the sequel part made me laugh. Anyway, okay, back to it. <laughs> oh, ah, oh my god, oh my god, like everything is crying. I was watching other videos while the battery was charging, and they were super quiet, so I turned it up to like 100. Not okay when I've got my headphones in. <laughs> Let's just redo that part because I interrupted it with my screaming. <laughs> Time for World War II. What are you? She's 
made it sound so yay when it's like no that was horrible okay anyway sorry germany he is invading the neighbors then they invade the neighbors neighbors then the neighbors 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 who happened to be britain said holy shit and the united states started helping britain because they are good friends they started not helping japan because they're friends and our friends are not friends ah. plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean the united states is also working on a large very huge bomb bigger than any other bomb ever just in case. Just in case. But they case. still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe, and they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. Get back and they also in. start chasing Japan back into Japan. You get back and in they haven't too. used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. <sighs> they actually drop two. Oh, I didn't know they dropped two. Yeah, the bomb worked. Oh, is this, is it still going? Okay. Oh, okay. The United States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. <laughs> and Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They, they get well. rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. Oh, right, it was only a minute and a half left. Oh, the next video popped up, World War II Oversimplified. I love me some oversimplified stuff. That's the type of stuff that I need in my life. <laughs> well, I mean, just like the last one. That was awesome. <laughs> well, I learned a lot today. Did you learn something new today? I mean, there was over 70 million views on that video, so some of you probably already know that. But hey, there'll be people that haven't seen that video before, like me. <laughs> just to be able to simplify complex history events so well to make someone like me understand it. Like that's a gift. Well done, Bill. <laughs> and obviously all those events were like horrific. The wars and stuff, conquering, obviously means a lot of innocent people are dying and everything, but you just sprinkle so much lightheartedness on it. <laughs> I've still just got that one line stuck in my head from the history on the entire world. And I just keep randomly saying it throughout the day. And they've got spices. It's just stuck with me for like the whole week. <laughs> it's great, that's great. I really love history, but like reading about it or being told by a teacher made it seem like it was super boring and I couldn't retain anything. Now that I'm older and like genuinely want to know more about history and find it really fascinating, I love videos like this that help me understand what the hell went on. <laughs> I also religiously watch Bailey Sarian's Dark History. Honestly, if you like history, you have to go to Bailey Sarian's channel. Like that Dark History is just... I am learning so much, but she's just so good at explaining it all. She has historians working on the podcast with her and everything like that. And it's just so well done. All these untold stories throughout history that are just like, oh my God, whoa. Honestly, if you're into history, I'd highly recommend Bailey Sarian's Dark History. I love how much I am learning. Don't know why I did this. This isn't a thing, is it? When people do that. I can't do that. I'm not, I'm not sassy enough to do this. What is this? Look like I'm meant to have hand puppets on my hand. I don't know what's going on there. All right, well, time to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you can actually do something to show that you liked it and give it a big old thumbs up. Hey, hey. If you're new here and enjoying the content, please feel free to hit that big red subscribe button. You guys, I freaking love you guys. We passed 6,000. <laughs> oh, it's just so cool. It's just like, what it i mean oh. thank you guys so much for watching for liking for commenting subscribing you guys you love you thank you i just i don't know what to say appreciate you it's weird because i'm just talking to a camera but you know i mean you right yeah and yep yeah thanks again so much for watching especially if you're watching right to the end and i will see you in the next one okay bye, bye.